Look, I've been under a lot of pressure lately, and um, I'm trying to make things right. But doing that, it's very stressful. And I think I just took it out on Sally. Look, I acknowledge it, it sucks to get yelled at, but I don't think it's something to get dumped over. First off, great to see you. And then, as much as we love coming home and find you sitting here, you're always welcome to call ahead. You killed all my buddies. Shit, I'm sorry about that, man. No, 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 no. I think this is all part of the same problem, right? This classic situation, you're bottling it up. You keep who you are secret. Because you cannot be who you really are. So you try to be two different guys at once. And that's simply not simply mobile. So naturally, there's the rent, anger, distrust. It makes sense you would turn into a human pressure cooker and shoot up all those friends and you eventually yell at your girlfriend. I didn't yell at my girlfriend. I, I like loudly stated. You know, like I basically, I, I went like this. I was like, Sally, you gotta help my friend. Like I said it that loud. Sure. Batty. You have massive, massive rage issues. And things are triggered when you feel slighted, maybe? But perhaps it would not happen if you were honest up front. Like Sally can't know who I am. Oh, obviously. But I'm talking about small gestures. You know, something irritative. The real you. Our first night, when we here in the house, I we have a traditional meal. It was heavy, <laughs> and yeah, um, made me feel really crystal. Crystal ball and I drive, on little moments like that, and honesty. Yeah, honesty. <laughs> 